everyone, I'm Wigo Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Wigo stands for when you get old. All right, it is super early in the month, at least for me. I received my boxy drawn by Ipsy on April the 9th. Yeah, normally we're into the teens. So you get me filming on a weeknight. Lucky you. All right, if you aren't aware, Ipsy is a beauty subscription box which costs $32 a month. You get five full-size products and you get to select three of your products. All right, enough rambling. Let's get started and pull out the first product. Is this something from Ofra? I don't remember. Oh, yes, it's coming back to me. If anyone's curious, I will share what my choices were. I went back and forth. I do remember that because I almost didn't pick this because I swear I may own this. And I don't think I own this specific compact, but I may have this shade in like a larger palette. And you're probably screaming at the screen asking what this is. This here is the South Beach Bronzer from Ofra. All right, so that is what she looks like. Is it just me? Or is it a little off kilter? I'm wondering if that's why Ipsy got them because they <laughs> ran a batch that wasn't quite, uh, what do you call that? Parallel or perfect? That doesn't bother me. All right, ooh, that looks a little dark. Uh, here's the lighter shade and there's the dark shade. But you know what? Um, let me like actually blend and maybe it will sheer out a little bit. I often will take a bronzer and use it in an eye lick, so I'm not mad at that. The bronzer from Ofra retails for $35, which is the standard price for their powdered products, blushes, highlighters, and bronzers. All right, what else did I get? What do we have here? All right, so this is from Misho, and this is a liquid eyeshadow. Okay, so if I'm picking a liquid eyeshadow, <laughs> I'm going to share with the options were for this choice. If my memory serves me correct, which we all know isn't super accurate, I want to say this month the choices weren't horrible, but they weren't spectacular. You know how it goes. A lot of cleansing products and stuff you've seen or don't use. Oh, interesting. Okay, so on the website, what I remember from choice, I thought this was going to be a cream shadow, so I would like use it almost as if it were a... Uh, primer but this looks like a shimmery gold let's oh yeah and it's one of those kind of greeny golds well no i guess on the skin it's just gold gold which is really pretty don't get me wrong i'm just not one to go for a gold although it just so happens today i'm wearing gold look at me being all uh what do you call that when you say something that's not accurate well this is more of an orangey gold but i wonder what that would look like uh yeah this is more of a greeny gold it's not green but it's like a different undertone all right what does that retail for all right not too shabby the liquid eyeshadow retails for 21 dollars. the next product is from lucky chick and this here is a lip and cheek multi-stick which i have in the shade lucky life I hate when brands give a cutesy name for the shade name because it doesn't tell you what it is. I'd rather it be like coral, pink, bright red, because then you would know. All right, here is what the packaging looks like. It's kind of a nicer plastic. Oh, interesting. I've never seen a marbled looking um, multi-functional stick. I've seen lots of blush and lip sticks but never one that's marbled interesting i wish it was more that shape than this shade but it is really pretty it's coming back to me. i want to say this is going to be a mauve but ooh, okay um that to me is more of a cheek and less of a lip all right now on to the power picks that ipsy put into my box so the first power pick is an eyeshadow palette and thank you i'm going to assume brand and not ipsy for putting this in some bubble wrap. All right, this here is the eyeshadow palette that Ipsy put into my box. It's from Alomar and it's called Destino, which in Spanish means destination. All right, so here is what the palette looks like. Very pretty colors and it's interesting. I've never seen a palette like this before. So this part opens up and I struggled because I thought this would open up, 
and it wasn't budging. And then I realized, no, this is the whole palette here. There was a piece of plastic tape that I removed. So this is it. This opens up and this is how the palette looks. I don't know if this is going to be something I would reach for. I mean, uh, actually, I know this is something I would never reach for. I don't use teals or greens. Um, I'm not one to use black. Mm, not my jam. And then the shimmers are very pastel and giving kind of Miami vibes, which isn't a bad thing. I'm just saying with my boring self, not the shades I reach for. I need to think about that, whether I'm going to be using it or not. Let's see how much that retails for. The eyeshadow palette from Alamar Cosmetics retails for $35, which honestly, that's a fair price. We have a conundrum because the next product is the one I already own. And that is this product here from Lunar Beauty. Thank you, Manny, for providing some bubble wrap. This is the Moon Prism Blush Palette. And as I mentioned, I already own it. So I'm not even going to open the one that came in my box. That way I can set it aside for a giveaway. All right, this is so pretty. You get a nice mirror and those are the shades. These shades are perfect for me and my skin tone. And it's just a really nice blush formula. The Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty retails for $35. All right, for me, I splurged this month and I picked up this product here from Bobbi Brown, which is the highlighting powder in the shade Pink Glow. I slightly kid because typically I won't get add-ons or if I do, they're usually the ones that cost $3.50. But this caught my eye and it was $12. I love nice packaging. I love a blingy highlighter and I don't know. I felt for what is normally charged for by around $12 was a great deal. All right, let's recap everything I got in the April 2024 BoxyCharm by Ipsy. I got the Lip and Cheek Multi Stick from Lucky Chick, the South Beach Bronzer from Ofra, a Liquid Eyeshadow from Misha Beauty, the Destino Eyeshadow Palette from Alamar Cosmetics, and the Moon Prism Blush Palette from Lunar Beauty. What are your thoughts? My thoughts are, would you look at this? All five of my products are makeup. And guess what? I changed my profile back from all makeup or mostly makeup to a mix of makeup and skincare. Because when it was mostly makeup, I wasn't getting a lot of makeup. But who knew when it's set to a mix you can get all makeup. Isn't that strange? But hey, at least I figured out how to work this system with Ipsy, at least for me. So I would say this palette is the star. However, uh, not for me so much just because I already own it. It's really good. So for those of you who got this in your box, hopefully you would enjoy it as much as I do. It is spectacular. I'm not very adventurous, and this color story, is, it's just not speaking to me. That's not to say that you all wouldn't love and enjoy this. It's just not my cup of tea. The Ofra Bronzer. Um, I swear I own something very similar. Not sure why I went with this. I think it was because I thought, oh, I'll do a full face of makeup from one box. In hindsight, I should have gone with what I originally was going to pick. I don't know. I was struggling with that choice. The Cream Eyeshadow. Honestly, I am not thrilled with the color because I'm going to put the picture on screen. It, to me, looked like the same shade as a concealer. And I thought it was matte. This here is full on shimmer, which is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. It's just I wouldn't have selected it had I known it was a shimmery cream eyeshadow. And it could be that the choices just weren't very good, which is probably why I ended up selecting it. All right, so my overall thoughts are if you didn't already have a large makeup collection and you hadn't been subscribed to Ipsy for four plus years, this would be a spectacular box. I, on the other hand, have been subscribed for four and a half plus years, own a lot of Ofra, already own that Lunar Beauty, and I'm not into this color story. So for those reasons, I myself am a little mm, with this month's box, but overall it, it, it is a good box. Don't get me wrong. Just 
not for me personally. Let's just say I'm excited for the Icon Box next month, which will be curated by Patrick Starr. All right, now I want to hear from you. What did you think of my box? Would you have been ecstatic to get all makeup and particularly these items? Or do you already own half this stuff just like I do? All right, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe for those who have. Thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you could do me a big favor, clicking the thumbs up, it really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.